All right, first up here for the warm up, we're gonna do some jumping jacks, reaching those arms up overhead, staying light on the feet. We have about 15 seconds here. Taking a few big deep breaths here as we're going, getting that blood pumping. About 10 more seconds here. Up, guys, keep those jumping jacks going. All right, guys, your first stretch we're gonna do a quad stretch. I'm grabbing on my shin, reaching opposite arm up overhead, trying to keep my knees underneath me, too, not flaring off to the side. Keep the knees underneath you, alternating back and forth, stretching at the top of your thigh. Couple more here. All right, and we are back to jumping jacks. About 15 seconds here. A little faster than the last round if you can. Go about five more seconds, speed it up. All right, relax. Next one's gonna be the knee tugs, alternating back and forth. Think about standing up nice and tall, tugging that knee up towards your chest. Couple more, back and forth. All righty, and back to the jumping jacks. This time, just 10 seconds. All right, you can relax. Grabbing your heel to the floor, pulling your toes up and reaching down for the scoops. Palms up, reaching down, driving your hips back. Just do one side for now. I'll tell you when to switch. Get that breathing under control. Stretching out that hamstring, a little bit on the upper calf. All right, go ahead, try the other side. Then the hips back, pulling the toes up. Couple more. All right, next one's gonna be here. Uh, back to that first side, and I'm gonna straight line head to heel, slight bend the knee. I'm gonna bring that leg up and back, find that balance, and I'm gonna pull myself back up. And you can alternate back and forth. Alternate one leg and then the other. Pull yourself down and then stand up. If you're getting good at these, you want to try a little bit extra. You can reach that leg back and then pull the knee up in front. And I set it down. Reach back, pull the knee up. Keep going just a little bit more here, alternating back and forth. All right, one more on each side. All right, and our last time with the jumping jacks here. Last bit of our warm up, we got one more stretch. 10 seconds here, keep it up. Two, one. And relax. All right, next one's gonna be down on the floor. Should be able to see me. All right, we're gonna go feet together. Good feet together, butterfly stretch. I'm thinking about sitting up nice and tall, pulling my feet in. I'm gonna go elbows into my thighs. And you can just rock back and forth, gently pushing down on your, your knees, your thighs, to feel stretched on the inside of the hip. Spend a little bit of time here with your feet together. And also try it with your feet apart just a little bit. Call it a bear sit, I don't know why, but go from butterfly to the bear sit, try, so try a little bit here. Try a little bit here with your feet apart too. See which one's a little more comfortable for you. Everybody's hips are built a little different. 
And then spend just a little bit more time here. Give about 10 more seconds back and forth to stretch out those hips. Keep going. All right, guys, you can relax there. Good job. All done there with the warm up. We're going to get into our first strength series. We're going to use a, a 20 second interval for three exercises. We're going to go one exercise right to the next. After we get all through, through all three exercises, we'll take a 20 second rest. Uh, really focusing on the back side of the hips and the legs here for the first round. We're going to be doing the glute bridge marching. So my hips are up high. I'm pulling one knee up towards my chest and I'm alternating back and forth for 20 seconds. Then we're gonna do a 20 second hold on one side. And instead of just here, this would be the easiest way to hold it with my foot kind of directly underneath my knee. I want you to see if you can extend your leg a little bit. Not fully straight, I would, the most I would do is probably like here. But again, just hold that leg out, ride those hips up, challenging that hamstring and the glute. You're gonna hold 20 seconds there, 20 seconds on the other side, and then we'll take a break for 20 seconds, and then we're back to the margin. All right, so those are our three, and we're gonna go through it three times. We're really working on the glutes and the hamstrings here. So find a spot laying on your back for the glute bridge marching. All right, first 20 seconds, ready, and go. Pull the knee up to your chest, alternating back and forth. Set a good pace and keep those hips up super high. We're gonna to transition to holding on one side. I'm gonna do my right side first in about three seconds. All right, extend one leg out, hold that. Try to keep that other knee up if you can. You can use your elbows on the floor to support you from side to side. Otherwise keep holding, think about squeezing the cheek. Five seconds, we're switching right away to the other side. All right, and switch it up. We're right away to the other side. Just have 10 more seconds here. All right, good job. A chance to rest. And a quick point when we're holding on the single legs, think about pulling your hips back towards you, sucking your belly button in when you hold that single leg up. I just don't want you to have your back extended when you're holding. So pull the hips towards you, pull the belly button in. All right, we're back to the glute bridge marching here. So hips up high, alternating back and forth. This job's at a good pace, keep it up. Five seconds and we're right away holding on one side. I'm gonna do my right first. And here we go. You feel tension on the back side of the knee or it's a little bit too much to hold, just bring that foot in a little closer. Five seconds. Nice job, right away to the other side. Pull that belly button in, find uh, keep that back in a flat position. Hips are up. Five seconds. Nice shot. 20 seconds to break, and then we're going to go through it one more time. All right, we're taking off again here in five seconds, alternating back and forth. And here we go. Good, halfway. And right away, holding on one side. Good job, keep it up almost there. You got about five seconds. And right away to the other side, last little 20 second hold here. 
Riding that heel on the floor, keeping that hip up high. Good, five seconds to finish. All right, nice job. All right, nice and easy for that first strength series there. We're gonna move on. Is Wendy with us? Jack off here. Hey, is Wendy with us? Series, we're gonna combo two exercises, this time on our feet. I'm here. Hi, I didn't see ya. All the skin, okay, here we go. So I'm gonna do a squat, a single leg deadlift. All right, so I squat down, a slight bend of my knee to reach that leg back. Squat down, reach that single leg back, back and forth. So I'm squatting using my thighs, I'm hinging forward using my hamstring. Try and alternate back and forth. We'll do that for 30 seconds. Our next one, we're gonna be down on the floor. Plank position, I'm gonna walk my hands out as far as I feel comfortable. And then I'm gonna walk my hands back. Walk them out and walk them back. Our next one, the idea here is we're trying to overload the shoulders a little bit. We're gonna be kneeling, I'm gonna lean forward a little bit and I'm just gonna pick my arms up as high as I can. and pick it up into like a Y position. In the higher I stay up, even like just here, that'll probably fatigue my shoulders a lot more than resting between each rep. So try and keep some tension, holding them up. So again, it's the squat, the one leg deadlift first, then we'll do the hand walkouts, and then we'll do that uh, kneeling Y position arm reach. I'm gonna change our timer here, and then we'll get it going. All right. Okay, there we go. Let's get it started. Squat to that one leg deadlift. And go. Squat down, find that balance, kick that leg back. I do have a slight bend to my knee. Nice. Think chest is up as I squat, and then my torso tips forward on the second one. Find that coordination back and forth. All right, nice job. We're down in that high plank position. We're gonna do walkouts with our hands. Walk your hands out and then walk your hands back. All right, here we go. Good challenge for that upper body and that core. Keep reaching those hands out. If you need to adjust down to your knees, A-okay. All right, 10 seconds. We're gonna kneel down right here. I'm leaning forward a little bit and I'm picking my arms up as high as I can. All right, here we go. Motion comes from here, my shoulder blade pulling back and the back side of my shoulders working. Try to get a little bit of a burn going on the back side of your shoulders. Five seconds. Nice job here, back up. Round two of four, round two of four. All right, here we go. Squatting down and then kicking that leg back. Here we go, show me that good balance. Squatting down, kicking it back. Good job, back to the plank walkout. Three seconds. 
All right, here we go. Hold strong with that torso. Core is engaged. Walk those hands out. Little steps as you walk them back all the way underneath your shoulders. Good, halfway. Good, finish strong, almost there. All right, and we're kneeling down. We'll give you a different angle to check out this one. Why overhead reaches. Leaning forward, my thumbs are pointing up basically towards the ceiling. I'm focused on pulling my shoulder blades back, feeling a burn on the back side of my shoulders. Nice job, 10 seconds. All right, we're back up, round three. All right, here we go, set a good pace. Using all parts of the thigh here. Yep, quads to sit down, hips at the top, hamstrings for the second exercise. Nice job, we're back down. And here we go. Inch those hands out in front of you. In control, walking back. Halfway. All right, back to the kneeling position. Leaning forward a little bit, reach those arms up as high as you can. Feel those shoulder blades move as you pull those arms back. Pinching your shoulder blades back. Good, five seconds. Now our final round here, back on the feet. Guys are doing great, keep it up, one more round. And here we go. Final chance to show us that good balance. Good, five seconds, finish strong. Good work, back down to the plank. And here we go. Ten seconds left. All right, good job. Last time on the Y. And here we go. Leaning forward, reaching those arms up.
Almost there. Keep those arms straight. Reaching them up. Five seconds. All right. Good job. All right. That Y one burned a little bit more than I thought. That was great. All right, guys. Grab some water. We're going to move on to some core exercises next. All right, our core exercises are gonna be here for today. We're gonna to start with a curl up. And when I say curl up, I don't mean fold forward, drive elbows to knees, that kind of stuff. I think about picking my shoulders up towards the ceiling. The idea is I'm using my lower abdominals to pull my shoulder blades up off the floor, driving my head and my chest up towards the ceiling. And then you can use your hands to support your head. The next one, we're gonna work on more lower core. It's here for flutter kicks. The higher it is, the easier it is, the lower, the harder. The more of a challenge it puts on you to keep control of that low back. Keep the low back flat to the floor, kicking those feet. The last one is gonna be in that same position, but I'm kicking my legs out, hooking my knees in. I'm not rocking back necessarily. I'm just kicking out, pulling the knees in. All right, well, those are our three exercises. We're gonna use a 30 second interval. Um, and uh, we're gonna go through three times. All right, so curl ups to start. So find a spot on the floor for the curl ups. And here we go. Holding onto that head, reaching up with the head and shoulders towards the ceiling. Try not use your arms to drive your head up towards the ceiling, but use those upper abdominal muscles. Pull that rib cage in as you drive your head up. Job almost there. Three seconds, and we get a 10 second break. Good, a quick chance to readjust. I like to go hands underneath the hips, but you can definitely have hands off to your side for the flutter kicks. Here we go. Ball kicks back and forth, either head up or head down. Either one is just fine. Keeping that low back uh, connected to the floor as best as you can. With 10 seconds left, kick a little bit faster. Good, a 10 second break. Or our next one is legs straight to knees in. Legs straight to knees in. And here we go. The lower I kick my legs out straight, the more challenging it's gonna be. The higher, probably the easier. Keep it going, find where you're comfortable, kick them out, pull them back in. Again, you don't have to rock back, right? You can keep your hips down on the floor. That's just fine. Work on that hip mobility and strength through the hip flexors. And of course the core. Good, three seconds. Good job, you can relax. We are going back to the curl ups. And here we go, round two of three. Nice job, keep it up halfway. Five seconds, finish strong. All right, good job. Get yourself set up for the flutter kicks. Two, one, and here we go. Set a good pace for yourself, a little bit faster than the last round. And even a little bit lower with those legs than last round. We are halfway. job you can pause there next one is leg straight to knees in and here we go
Another 10 seconds. Nice job, we should have one more round. All three exercises, one more time through. All right, here we go. Good pace for the curl ups. Good, just 10 seconds. All right, last time for the flutter kicks. And here we go. Five seconds, three seconds. And relax, and our final core exercise. Two, one, and here we go. Legs straight and tuck those knees in. Good, halfway. Three seconds. And done. All right, a little chance to recover there for the core. We're gonna move on to our cardio. All right, today's cardio, we're kind of using a quick style intervolt. Um, looking for 10 seconds of one exercise, and then we'll do a quick 10 seconds of another exercise. And we're gonna do for the first round four times. And we're going to do three times and then two times. And again, we got 10 seconds of one exercise and 10 seconds of the other. The exercise is for the first round, or for, well, all the rounds, really. But to get it started here are, we're going to do mountain climbers and scissor runs, okay? Something on the floor, then we got to quickly stand up and do something up on our feet. So mountain climbers, you guys know those ones, but it's here. I'm going to do 10 seconds there. And then once the timer dings, I'm standing up right away for a scissor run. It's like a, it's like a lunge jump, but I'm just a little bit higher, running back and forth. And then right away, right? There's kind of no break. I'm back down for the mountain climbers. We'll get our four rounds in, and then we'll take a break all together. And then we'll do three, and then two. So it's our final push here for the cardio. So find a spot for the mountain climbers to start. All right, remember, when you hear the ding, you're right back up onto the feet, going for the run, starting with the mountain climbers on the floor. Ready? And go. Think about a sprint that's not very long. The intervals are fairly short, so you gotta go intense. Go on, and we're up. Scissor run. Time goes quick, get the most out of it. Good, back down, that was one round. Good, back up, this is a run. Two, one, and we're back down, mountain climbers, round three. And we're back up for the scissor run round three. And the last one, mountain climbers. I am finished strong with the scissor run.
Good job, a chance to rest. Well, now we're gonna do three rounds. Good push there. It only gets better from here. All right, team, doing a great job. Keep it up, everybody looks good. So let's go again. Three rounds, starting with the mountain climbers. Ready, and go. Set a really good pace, think about a sprint. And we're up. Nice way to get up on those feet quick. Back down, round two. And we're up. And we're down. Final round here for this one. Finish strong with the scissor run. Nice job, a little bit of recovery here. And then our final push, this time only two. Get that heart rate back under control, breathing under control, or only two. All right, we're gonna take off in about five seconds, so find that spot on the floor. Mountain climbers, final push. Two rounds goes really quick, so let's go intense. Ready, and go. Aim for that high intensity, think about a sprint. And we're up. Nice, guys did great. Jumping right up. And we're back down. Last 10 seconds of mountain climbers. And this is a run, we're back up. All righty, all done there. Good job on the cardio. We're gonna go through a quick cool down next. Grab some water, keep it close to you if you'd like. I'm gonna start laying on the floor, elbows underneath me. Get some good extension through my back and I'm gonna do some head circles here. Once you grab that water, ready to go for the cool down following. Starting with the head circles. Go ahead and try that other direction too. All right, we're gonna lay on our side. My top leg is glued down to the floor, hands are shoulder height, reaching over my body and then bringing it back. Keeping that knee down as best you can. Nice gentle reach, rotating from the upper backs, opening up the chest as well. I right, just like one more, let's switch to the other side. All right, here we go, other side. Keeping that knee down, reaching over. Good, try just about one more. And relax, all right, we're sitting up here, we're doing the hip flips back and forth. You guys having any trouble with the setup? Remember, it's I crisscross my feet and then I kick one leg back and I'm fighting to keep my feet where they are as my knees fall from side to side. Good, next one we're gonna do is here. It's a half of a straddle, so split straddle. I'm gonna take one foot in, same side hand reaches on my shin. I'm gonna reach the other arm up and overhead. Uh, stretching out everything 
from my ribs down to my low back, open up my hamstring too, and then I reset. Think about just reaching through that range of motion, stretching out that back and the obliques, and then come back up. So we've got two more reaches. Nice, one last reach. Great, and go ahead and try out the other side. Tucking one foot in, other legs off to the side straight. Same side hand grabs the shin and then I'm reaching over and pulling it back. Nice, not forcing it, not building more tension, just feel the range of motion you got. Nice, try one more. All right, good work. We're gonna stand up. I got three more for you. We're gonna go for the knee circles, the ankle circles, and the wrist stretch. Well, let's start with the knee circles. Rotating those knees around, holding onto the thighs, not pushing on your kneecaps. Okay, good. Try the other direction for me, please. Nice job. A couple of the ankle circles here. Got my right foot going. I'm going to the left. And the other direction. Good, let's try that left foot. I'm circling to the right. Ooh, find that good balance. All right, and the other direction. All right, good. And the last one for me, please, is gonna be the wrist stretch. Dropping the top of the hand down to the floor, alternating back and forth. Little bend to the arm will make this one a little bit easier. Otherwise, keep that arm straight. Just a couple more. All right, well, there you have it. Good work, everybody. I appreciate y'all joining to me today. Wendy, Eric, Dana, Brandy, all good to see ya. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thanks, Luke. Thank you. Yep, yep thank, thank you. you yeah, see you, Wendy. Thank you. Bye, thanks. Bye Brandy. Thank you.